This is a month in the life of my menstrual cycle. Some of you aren't gonna like it, I suggest you switch off now. Huge bleed. Thank goodness for my moon cap. All my pent up stuff just rushing away. I've got a day alone just working. That's exactly what I need to just kind of delve into myself. Ended up having the busiest day today. It wasn't meant to be that way. I had planned for it to be a really quiet one, day two, you know. I ended up having to help some friends and it was amazing because throughout the whole day, even though it was kind of a bit stressful, I just felt this deep sense of composure, swimming up into the light and ready to kind of engage again. Today I am at peace with myself completely. Everything about me is just exactly as it was ever meant to be. I'm enough for myself, enough for my family. I'm emotional with joy, just counting my lucky stars that this is my life. Don't tell anyone, but today I feel like a million bucks. I'm so hilarious. <laughs> I'm like a magnet of fun. Being the first niggles of self-consciousness. Like, I think I pissed that person off today. Why did I do that? I feel like I've got all the time in the world to do everything I've ever wanted to do with my life. Day 10. I feel like this day is just completely me. A bit of a mix. I feel a surge of joy when I'm listening to music, when I'm looking at the sunset. But I also have to just keep on top of my irritation and, you know, not defaulting to just being grumpy. <laughs> Everything just slightly stressful. Ah, so I'm at the bit in my cycle where I really need to put all my energy into my projects. I'm filled with these great, surges of creative energy and desire to just go nuts but I've been stuck in a car with the family basically all day and I know that if I'd been able to have full expression and self-actualization I wouldn't be feeling this grumpy. <laughs> Did all the work, tidied the whole year, feeling a little bit of ovulation pain but actually maybe I just needed a poo. <sighs> Literally laughed my head off all day today. Funniest day ever. Feeling like beautiful or something. Done the garden, feels so good to get everything done. And then to just sit down and have a cuppa. Bliss just rises up through my body and I recognize this feeling. It's like a physical feeling and I get it a couple of times a month, always at this stage and it's like just sheer contentment. Quietly seething. Worst insomnia ever last night. I have got the sorest boobs and the shortest temper. Close to the surface today. Keep welling up. Life can be so painful. Cried in the car. Vowed never to ever visit a supermarket ever again. Really seriously mad about our chaotic house. Who are these people that live here? Seriously. Short whip today. I kind of want to dig a cave and hibernate. But no time for anybody's chaos today. The house is getting the biggest spring clean. Huge meltdown today. I threw a chair. Who does that? So, so angry. Cried on the bathroom floor. Cried in my bed. Cried in the car. Cried in a park. Wore sunglasses all day. Sunk deep into writing today. Just needed to dive right in. The gap between heaven and earth is closing. I can feel the start of the fire in my belly, anticipating the release I'm gonna feel really, really soon. back to the start. That's my 28 day menstrual cycle. I don't know if that resonates with any of you or if you're just sitting there going, what 
planet of this. I'd love to hear from you a little bit about your own journey. If you're at the very start of your journey, I highly recommend this amazing book called Wild Power by the founders of The Red School. It is full of magic and it just walks you through from day one different things you might expect, different kind of nuances, that kind of thing, and it shows you how to start tracking your cycle. I love it. Thank you so much for watching, and stay radical.